draw all the forces acting on the pig. So here's my piggy down here. Okay, I want you to draw all the forces that are acting on the pig. Now if you're wondering what are your options, they are gravity, normal, tension, applied, friction, drag. So those are your options for forces. Um, and I gave a hint here, they're not necessarily going to be in the four cardinal directions. What I mean by that is they're not necessarily up, down, left, right. They could be at an angle, they could be forwards, they could be backwards. So what are the forces acting on the pig? Talk about it as a table, draw them on the picture, and then we'll go. Go! You can use words, you can talk, I promise. The other people won't bite and likely won't spit. Maybe a little bit spit. So remember, that just means that that force is zero. That doesn't mean there's no force. So just because it's going at a constant rate does not mean there's no force. Yeah, yeah. So they're being applied force. Yeah. What are the forces? Draw them, draw them, draw them. Would you consider the strength holding the thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, even though the string is not necessarily part of the pig, you should include it and like, is the string doing something? Yes, it is. He's flying right now. Yeah, he's without the string. Get the bottom of Toys R Us when they went out of business. I had some already, but like when they were going out of business, I just bought like all of the rest of them. They were on sale for like three bucks or something. It was for a deal. For a pig? Yeah, for flying pigs. Wait, one pig, three bucks? Yeah. <laughs> I've had a lab going for like 10 years since it. Alright, uh, group seven in the back. Tell me one of the forces acting on Sir Piggy. Good, which direction? Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and say that the pig is going around clockwise. That's the direction most of your pigs were going. And so forward, I'm going to try to draw it in line with this um, like plane. So forward would be the applied force. Excellent. Group six over here in the middle. Give me another force acting on the pig. Good. What direction? Yes. Gravity down. All right. Got applied forward. We got gravity down. All right. Group uh, five over here in the front. Yes. So the reason why, well, we'll come back to drag, but yes, there is air resistance. There is drag acting on this. Um, it is in uh, backwards, so drag is a resistance, so it's always against the motion. So that one's backwards, FD. And group one over here, give me one more force. There's one more left. Yes, tension. And what direction is that one? Yeah, it's not straight up. It's up the string. So it's kind of like this. So we've got an applied force forward, we've got tension up the string, we got drag backwards, we got gravity down. Perfect. Okay. Next question. Of the forces you drew, which one is the centripetal force? Remember, centripetal force is the name we give to the force that causes objects to move in a circle. So for cars going around a track, uh, it's friction. For um, planets going around the sun, it's gravity. So there's always some force that's acting in um, that will cause centripetal force. So a hint for this one, think about the direction that centripetal force acts. So we talked about that. We said the centripetal force acts towards the center of rotation, towards the axis. So the axis 
is straight down here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's straight down the center. What force is acting towards the center? Or another way to think about it is what force, if you got rid of, would immediately stop the pig from moving in a circle? So of those four, if you got rid of that force, which one immediately would stop the pig's circular motion? Not eventually, immediately. Talk about you at your group. Decide what you think. Which is the centripetal force of these four? Go! Group two, which is the force responsible for circular motion for this pig? Tension. Tension. It is tension. And the reason it's tension is it is the force towards the axis. Now, you may be saying to yourself, Mr. B, it's not towards the axis, it's up towards the point. It's not in towards the green axis, it's up towards the point. Ho, ho, ho! But it is. Because it's a 2D force. Which means part of it is forward and part of it is up. The forward part is the one towards the center. So this is the part of the tension that causes it to move in a circle. So it is FT. Specifically the X component, but it is FT. So what's the Y component doing? What's the Y component of the tension doing? All right, talk about that one. Go. What's the point of the Y component? What's it doing? All right, group three over on the side. What's the point of the Y component? What's the Y component doing? Effie, what do you think? What's the Y component doing? Peggy? Not quite. It's not necessarily keeping it in a circle. It is important, but it's not in towards the center. That's the only one that makes it go in the circle. What is the Y component doing? What's the point of the Y direction of the um, tension? Yeah. Making the circle the same? Partly, partly, why would it be keeping it the same? Like the same height, same radius? Why? You're close. The string's not going to get any longer or shorter? Mm. What's it, what is it working against? What is it opposite of? Gravity. That's the point of the Y axis. The purpose of the Y component of tension is to balance out gravity. 
So, Jolie, that's why I said you were, like, kind of there. Because it is keeping the circle constant, but it's keeping the circle constant because it's balancing out gravity. If it didn't balance out gravity, it wouldn't have a constant motion. Or at least a constant circle. All right, next one. Number four. If the centripetal force is towards the center, then why does the pig seem like it goes out from the string? If the force is towards the center, then why does it look like the pig goes out? Because when you turn the pig on, you give it a little bit of a push, it goes around and it kind of goes out and out and out and out, and then it stops going out. But it still is swinging away from the center. It's not swinging towards the center, it's swinging away from the center. So why does it look like it's going out? It's not actually. Think about what is it actually doing and why does it look that way. Okay. Four, talk about it, go. Why does it look like it's going out? Why not in or something else? What is going on? So the reason why it looks like it's going out is because it's trying to go straight. Okay, so here's my circular path, here's my pig, here's the string. The pig is trying to go forward, but the string is pulling it in. So it tries to go forward and then gets pulled, and then tries to go get forward and pulled, and tries to go forward and pulled. What happens is the forward motion pulls it away from center, and then once it gets out where the forces are balanced, then the force pulls it in. And now it tries to get away and pulls in, tries to get away and pulls in. So it's that constant pulling in balanced with inertia. So again, the trying to go straight, that is inertia, is the idea. Let me show you an example of this here. It seems like it exists, it smells like it exists, but it doesn't actually exist. And again, it's called centrifugal. It's this idea of why do objects feel like they're going out. The actual explanation is inertia. But the reason they feel like they're going out, we call that the centrifugal force. Alright, let's look at one last thing here. Last thing here. What is the purpose of the wings? So what are the wings on the pig doing? Okay, what are the wings on the pig doing? So think about that one. Talk about that one. What are the wings on the pig doing? Go. What are the wings doing? Mm. So what's the purpose of the wings? What are they doing? All right, what are the wings trying to do? Ebenezer, what are they doing? Yes, why? Why do you need the wings to stay in constant motion? Why? Why would, why would they stop? Not gravity. The air resistance, the drag. Yeah. So you're on the right track. So the reason the wings need to exist is that they keep it in motion. Because of drag. So drag would slow down and stop the pig. 
but it doesn't because of the wings. A lot of people tell me, well, aren't the, isn't the applied force from the wings, isn't that what makes it move in a circle? No. The tension makes it move in a circle. If I cut the string, the pig would immediately fall and stop going in a circle. It would go in a straight line and hit the ground. If I turn the wings off, it would keep going in a circle, but it would slow down because of drag and then eventually stop. Okay. So it will keep going in a circle until it uh, eventually stops. All right. Any questions on the front? 